Okay, so it's driving lesson with Kayla. Let's go. Are your rear view mirrors adjusted? Yes or no? Nope, can I scoot over to the other side? Nope, Adjust your mirror. Some more, scoot over some more. Come on, put your seatbelt on. My seatbelt. Okay, so what this is, is driving with Kaylin, yay. And it's also a Q&A video. Put your foot on the brake. Look both ways. I am. Look. I am. No, you wasn't. Yes, I was. What? You. Okay. Jesus. So, tell everybody how long you've been trying to learn how to drive. I have been trying to learn how to drive since like 2017. And tell them how far you have made it. I have made it from sending my mother's lap to driving through a neighborhood. So I have made it pretty far. Uh -huh. So do you follow directions when you're driving? Very much. And she does not. Now why would you say something like that? Okay, which, which way do I suppose? Which way do you want to go? I don't know where I'm at. Where you I'm just can't stop in the middle of the street, boo. You gotta know oh, which way you go. So, um, so let's talk about what a lot of people do want to talk about, and that is when you was on the Dancing Dolls team in Jackson. So, what year did you make the team? I made it February 2015. Okay. So, how did you originally originally get your name Half Pipe? Miss Diana gave it to me. Because? I was actually the shortest on the team. And the smallest. The smallest. And the youngest the when you youngest. first made Now, when you first made the team, were you making cuts? No, man, I was not. <laughs> No matter how good you thought you were, uh, my first you wasn't making cuts. Like my first couple of months, I was not. I wasn't making cuts after like February to like August, and then like after August, like I finally picked up on it. And so, you know. did it hurt your feelings when you wouldn't make cut, or did you take it as a lesson learned? You just wasn't ready to hit the floor. You just had started dancing. It's not like you had been just ever had, like you was never into major ed until you tried out. Uh, it was actually both. I didn't take it as a lesson learned until I made cuts. Um, but when I did it, it, it did hurt my feelings. Okay. So. The very first time you had to dance by yourself, where you was with, um, when you did the baby call out round, and you had to get out on the field by yourself, and your round determined if the whole team won. Were you nervous? Yes. Is that a daddy? Yes, it is. Um, actually, yes. I was nervous. I was actually breathing really, really hard. Like, not only was that my first time dancing by myself, but I had to make sure I brought home a win for everybody. Mm -hmm. And who was your um, captain for that? Around or who the person that helped you prepare to hit the field? Um, Makaya Titico. She was a pedestrian. Yeah. Okay, so you need to get.
get over so you won't hit grandma and papa getting up off the block and also when you was on the team did you pretty much get along with everybody Well, I was uh, I was actually very quiet. Like I literally only had girl. You was quiet when? No, I'm saying like like at practice, like I only had two people I ever talked to. You was buck wild. Which way are you going? I was buck wild on the field. Like you had a whole bunch of sass and mouth. Not my first. And year. attitude. Not my first. My first year was actually my worst year, but when it got, but like once I like picked up on it, like not everybody's gonna like you or not everybody gonna, you know, accept you for you. And then like I just stopped caring. Like I used to, I, I used to always just want to be liked by everybody. And do you still keep in touch with some of the people yes. that you was cool with on the team? And also, um, what would you say was your favorite performance mm. when you was on the team? The one where I did the call out round. The, the day that we did the, um, the praise things category thing. First, very, very important color. Because you was back oh in Yazoo City at your old school. Mm -hmm. And it was so crunk up in there. It was. In my last. But one of my faves that's in the top three is when you and Micaiah performed together. Yes. And that video is also. Um, on your page, it was is already dead. Don't don't swerve over. It's already dead. Mm. So the big sister, little sister uh, challenge to me was uh, one of my faves. Okay. And that um, was my last one. And uh, yeah, that one the one from the Kansas City. My last um, was back in two thousand eighteen. My last. You got to yield. So that means kind of stop to make sure ain't nothing coming this way. Okay. So, um, how was your relationship with your coach, your head coach? Um, very, very good. I mean, like, it was, it was tough because she was on me a lot, but I, I appreciate that. But it was really good. So overall, how would you how would you describe her? How would you describe the head dog in charge? I would describe mm -hmm. her as uh, motivational. Like she would fuss at you, but it would come out of motivation and tough. Mom, where did I ain't. I didn't let us to somewhere. Just make boat. this left. I'm sure about to blow my heart. <laughs> Do you uh, miss dancing? Like, if you can do it all over again, would you? Um. Yes, I would. So when did you leave the team and why did you leave? Because a lot of people ask a whole lot, why did you leave the team and why? So just go on and lay it on the table and let them know. In January, April. We left in like, we left in 2018. It was the summer of 2018. It was like April of 2018. No, it was the summer because we left right after school was out. 
We left in May, the end of May, early part of June. Oh, well, May, June, 2018. And so, how did you take? Oh, take yeah. it knowing that we we had to move. I ain't take that too well, but I'm starting to get like used to not like dancing. So but, why have you stopped dancing? Like why is it something that you just still like you don't even though you're not on the team is not a dance team around here, nowhere really to go and express it, but why you just can like why you just didn't keep it up, like just still post videos come up with dances like stuff like that like what made you stop like lose your motivation because I don't know it's like the team was my motivation it was like good to know that I was you know on a dancing on a dance stop. that felt good to know that okay so do you think you'll ever start back, like dancing on a regular, like just um, posting videos, coming up with with your own choreography, just to have something to post and to keep yourself um, in shape and keep yourself motivated? Cause that like, um, what was the question again? Like, will you ever get back into dancing? Like, would you ever start back doing? dance videos even though it's not with the team but will you ever start back doing dance videos just to keep yourself motivated because one day you will go to go to college and you will probably want to join a dance team do you think um yeah i do i i, I do think i would start back dancing on a so why not keep that up I don't know. I just if it's a passion, then why not keep that up? I don't know. It just, I don't know. It just, it feels different. I mean, but sometimes different can be good. But yeah, I do think I would start to a dancing. And also, um, so when you do, when you graduate high school, what college do you think you will want to go to to get to, what like what dance team out there? Um, you know, you got the Jaces at Jackson State and the Golden Girls at Alcorn, and um, you got the Dancing Dolls. Uh, I think it's this. Um, Jackson is like a semi close to where it's like the closest it's gonna get to where we live. I mean, we just kind of we just kind of over Jackson, so it's only you know I don't think that somewhere somewhere we'll ever move back to. I know, but college is like for some reason it's like Jackson is comfortable for me, but. Do you think it'll uh, be a good idea for you to coach girls around here? Mm -hmm. I really think it'll be a good idea if you was to get back out there and post videos and stuff and then you have girls around here coming to you for motivation or ideas for trials or, you know, technique, stuff like that. Um, so... It's not a lot of schools that around here that really just have like big bands or you know whatever you know you still have the small bands with, with small uh, majorette teams um, so you know I heard your dad mention something about uh, the band 
ahead of O'Bannon and the major red squad there. Do you ever think you will leave and go to O'Bannon to uh, dance just to, you know, give yourself something to do? I mean, isn't it? It's not on the level that you know, because y'all was some most of when you was when y'all was a dance doc. You know, that that was a whole nother level of majorette. And so, do you ever think you can get there and inspire them to, um, be, you know, get somewhat on that page, or you know, teach them technique and stuff like that? Do you think you will be a good, um? Do you think you'll be a good piece to the to 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 the puzzle? Um, yes, simply because you know it's a yes and a no because not everybody wants somebody younger than them teaching them or telling them what to do. It is what it is. You'll be like what ninth grade. Um, so. Tell everybody where you at now when it comes to dancing. Like, you just really just be chilling every day. <laughs> it's school, home, McDonald's, uh, Burger King, and sleep. So what do you plan on doing? Like where do you see yourself in the next like year or so? Like are you planning on getting back into dancing? Like that's what people want to know. Are you going to get back into dancing your butt off? Um, yeah. Getting back into shape. Yeah. That is the ultimate goal. Because not only is that what people want to see, that is what I'm known for. And dancing is like my happy place. It just feel good to know that, you know, I have a, a talent that I really enjoy. You know, I like to dance. But these, these last years, McDonald's have been You gotta come up out of that little depression, little stage because you're not dancing. Cause that's the reason why you're not. I'm playing because I would learn how to race. All you had to do was pass by. When well, go race camp, you heard. So say something before I end this video and before you hit this garbage can on the side of the road. <laughs> um, what do you want your supporters to know? Um, if you have a talent, don't let it go to waste because you, know, you will become lazy. You, you will become lazy because you, you have definitely shoot. become lazy. You was using your hoverboard at one point to get to this part of the house. Uh, and you're no longer, she's no longer 50 and 60 some pounds. She's, you know, she's, there's not a stop sign, but okay. Can we go speak to, um, no, come on. Why? She is officially but she'll be a she'll be an official teenager in July. She'll be thirteen. So no, half paint is not still the little itty bitty thing. <laughs> she is 
she has matured in a lot of ways. She'll be in high school next year. Next school year? No. She'll no. be in high school next year. No. I will be in eighth grade. I will be in eighth grade. Oh, uh, so you'll be in high school year after next. Yes. Okay, Just keep stop. straight. Can we and she is also what five one now. Oh, so she person. was so short. She is officially as of yesterday. I really want to say that you're five foot. I want to say you like five foot. I give you five foot eleven between five, five foot not five foot eleven between four foot eleven and um five feet tall because. When she measured you, you had your puff ball, and that thing did not, it literally did not go all the way down. I she just got it down as far as she could. I'm going to stick with the 4 eleven. So you about 4, that's like an inch. You about 4, for real, you about 4'10 and a half, 4'11. I'm going to stick with the 4 because I don't want to be 5 feet tall. I'm going to stick with the 4 feet Well, feet guess what? Tonight. You got about a couple of more years in you to grow so you might not get past five foot one but you know it is what it is it's no it is literally nothing in that no biggie so this is the end of our video and so i'm about to let kaylin park this car in the yard and let me tell you i know she about to um do some damage to the front part <laughs> So go ahead and part. And you did way better today driving around the neighborhood than you did the uh, the last time because I think that's why my neck hurt. I got a mild case of whip blade. <laughs> okay, so tell everybody good day. Say good day, camera. We will show you, but. Ha <laughs> ha.